How's it going and welcome back to Pixie Games and I'm here with another game called Song of Horror. Now this is like a Resident Evil-esque type game, the old ones anyways. Uh, I'm pretty sure I played the demo years ago. I can't remember. But anyways, I'm just going to go straight into it and see what it's like. I'm, I'm pretty sure I played the demo. I don't know if it was on a stream or if I recorded it. I just cannot remember at all. So let's see what we have to do. But I do like the old Resident Evil esque type games with fixed cameras Ooh. that way you keep your cigars you kept them alight is that Isaac Farbar certificate for what well I definitely can't read it now <gasps> tentacles oh hello for you, Isaac Farbar. We recommend using headphones and a controller for a more immersive experience. Ch -ch 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 check and a ch -ch -ch check. Now, I'm not really used to using controls because obviously I'm more of a PC person, but you can use a controller on a PC, so <laughs> that makes no sense. But yeah, I normally like just using the con uh, the keyboard, but I think I'm going to use the controller for this. Take me back. Daniel's apartment. Uh, home sweet home. Home sweet home. Okay then. What's this? Bring back some really good memories, does it? Okay then. Oh, that's a light switch. Ooh, can I take my torch? Uh, my old flashlight. I keep thinking there's going to be a voice acting, so... Ooh, can I go and take a poo-poo? Man, the toilet drain stinks, as usual. Okay. I can actually see through that. On the left. <laughs> now let's go in here. What, are, what have we got in here? We have got... My... Oh, I plan to spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. Can't wait to see the next X-Files episode. I loved the X-Files years ago. When Mulder got out of it, I kind of went out of it. <laughs> uh, what's that noise? Is that is that the thing, you be jiggy? I'm making myself a cup of tea. The leftover coffee, not my drug of choice on a Friday evening. Shit. I could have sworn I took out the trash. Yeah, let's see what this other room has to offer. An itchy, itchy no nose. This must be the bedroom. No, oh, there's the bedroom. Crikey, seriously. Crikey, seriously. Well, can I, can I look at some stuff first? Sophie, it's taken me years to put those pictures out again. Is that my wife? Pack some random stuff. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Sebastian P. Husher. Shush! To a four million copies of his last novel. Okay, now I'll answer you, man. Shut the hell. Shut the hell. It's a word. No. Hello? No, it's not me. Hello. Daniel, <laughs> Hello. It's me again. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? It is an emergency? No! Usher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday, or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. I go myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in got half in an hour. Get in the door less Plus, than five minutes Usher's ago. House is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. Write this down. 4 Abbott Thomas Road. In the old housing developments along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks. Good I God, that's few days off out in the this. sticks. Well, we'll talk about that once you find it. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. 
And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. Okay, let's go to the... Okay. Again. Another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Damn, Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. <gasps> Sophie was my wife. Herself in her place. <clears throat> now she's my ex-wife. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Bloody alcoholic. Yes. Shin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex-alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed over lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. But if I could find Husher, I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Sebastian, Sebastian, are you home? I need your manuscript. I can become further in my company. The Husher Mansion is a large 19th century canal house property of uh, Sebastian P. Husher, claimed professor and historian. It might be seem like a good idea to run, but remember you'll draw more, I guess, attention that way. There's a bus stop right outside. Hello? Mr. Sebastian? Daniel is here. And your door is already open. <coughs> I keep getting something in my throat. Am I going to talk like that the whole way through? Maybe. Ooh, a tricycle. Tri tri can I look at it? A tricycle. I don't know. Hush, I had kids. Right, let's go to try this way because obviously the, we know the door's open. Can you run? Yes, you can. Why take the side door when I can take the main door right there? Woof woof. Ooh, it's Minky right here. A newspaper, a murderer that arrested about a week ago and is on the front page. Hello, Sebastian. Hello. Just that hello. Hello? Is that music? I'd better take a look. Well, you may as well. Uh, okay, each car has their own light source. To turn it off and on, press. Okay, so. It's off. That's off. Is that someone playing a music box? Oh, that's pretty cool. I go through doors. That's not. No, that's not where the music. Alright, oh, so I've got to go and find the music. Then there's a keyboard there. The clock marks 12. Guess it needs fixing. Ooh, what's this? What's that? What was that? Hmm. Looks like a travel guide. Hushen is in a lot of these framed pictures. The rest must be family, I guess. Ooh, luggage. That's weird. What are all these suitcases doing here? Sounds like it's coming from in here. Uh -huh. It's to the left of me. A chessboard really suits the highbrow feel of this house. Ah, it's a piano. What a beauty. Must sound like an angel. Is it one of those automatic ones? Uh, sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, I guess it's through this door. Ah, uh, the dining room. <laughs> Who's fruit? Can I take a fruit? There's a letter on a door. Decorative, decorative fruit. 
the expensive porcelain kind. I guess they don't want anyone here to think they are poor. Just buy apples. <laughs> Man, that mirror's dirty. Uh, over here, wherever it is. Sorry, I think I interrupted them. You have found the examinable item. Okay, then I press that. Okay, then. Wait. Dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatient waiting your latest work. My dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with this letter, you will find one of the latest items we purchased at the store. An ornate music box with fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing. But something else has caught my eye. Or perhaps, should I say, ear. The melody, Sebastian. It's peculiar. You have to listen for yourself. I have never heard a song before. And my attempts at finding the score, or the name or composer, have failed. I cannot, for the life of me, get the melody out of my head. Can I rotate it? Oh, I can. Would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding this box and any mysterious and its mysterious melody? I would be forever grateful. With the warmest of wishes, Isaac Farber. P.S. I've also enclosed the little information I managed to find about this box. Okay then. So I've got a feeling it's got going to be quite a bit of a reading to do, and I'm kind of a little bit dyslexic, so reading is not my strong point. <laughs> There. Oh yeah, there's a there was a cabinet. Okay then. Now let's have a look around this room first. Uh, there's a classical mu music album and the record player. There's stuff lying all over the place. It reminds me of my college dorm. There's a screwdriver right there. There's stuff lying all over the place. Okay. Then. Uh, I thought the thing was pointing to the screwdriver. <laughs> it wasn't. It was just pointing to the mess. The radio has to be older than me and. Are those rifles real? Very small rifles. Wow, this guy likes to hunt. Sophie would have a fit if she saw this. Okay. Guess we'll try this door. Hello? Yeah, wouldn't you just say fuck that? If, if there was a door on the other side of a wall that didn't lead anywhere? Looks like I'm going to be playing down there for a while before I get out. <laughs> Hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. Oh, no. And all that no. was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by until turning into days, and I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me, other times a few yards away. It seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror. In a creepy. Sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere. All at and once, nowhere. there was nobody there. Just hallucinations. Nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. Well, it all depends if I can get you out or not. Oh, do I not play as him then? Three days later. Etienne? Do you have any news Etienne? on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I, I don't Works think so. Works for the company. You don't know if he's on mobile? to keep it on him. Oh, man. 
I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house on the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big EB-15. Okay. Number four, I'm headed over. Abbott Road. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. It's been three days since Daniel entered the Husher Mansion. No one has heard from him since. Because he's in an impossible room, apparently. What? Sophie Van Denen. Denen. Body, light source, candle. Life has put Sophia to the... Oh, this is his wife. Mm -hmm. Ex-wife. Uh, it was thanks to his presence that she summoned the strength to put an end to her field match with Daniel. Sophie, who runs a well-known art gallery, is now enjoying the ever elusive... No kidding. All oh, right, I can play as either one of them. Eden. Uh, ETN, a confident self-made man and sales manager at Wake Publishing, making him Daniel's direct supervisor in this role as personal assistant. All oh, right, so, so her. Who the hell are you? <laughs> what? Alexander and his wife Masha. Our housekeepers at Ray S. Sebastian P. Husher's mansion watching over the author's children is one of their many household duties. The Russian couple of Christian faith moved to Europe in the early 80s in attempt to flee from... Alright, so he's on the... So are these just... Are these characters I can play in the house? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Who the hell is this? Elena is a... Passionate, hands down, tough learner, always eager. What you got to do with the house? Sister in search of a better life of both, not working with their technician. Here's about the high qualified team at high end security systems. Uh, walkie talkie doesn't work very well, it picks up a lot of weird interference. What? Whatever I like, want everything around me feels safe a lot more peaceful. Writing down anything important is a secret to remembering. Uh, take a good straight or flat to soothe your nerves. Uh, I'm just gonna play as her because I don't know what the I can understand what ETN uh, could be, but I don't understand the other two. I mean, the other one's a, a caretaker, so I kind of understand why you would play as him, but why the other woman? And do they know that they need to look for Daniel? I don't even know Daniel. Don't be afraid to con try combining things or getting. So I'm playing as his wife. You're okay, then. I was really expecting to see isn't it, a figure out the window, but obviously not. I have a candle. I mean, why would you come? Why would you come at night? Wouldn't you just wait till the morning? Why would you come alone? It's jammed again. Guys, we missing for three days. Don't ring the police. Sod that. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Daniel Sebastian. One, the Husherman. Now I know this has got five chapters. I don't know how long the chapters are, but I might just make this video in like again. thirty minutes. 30 minutes. Is there anybody home? Shut up. 30 minutes uh, 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 segments. Uh, books in the foyer. You won't find me complaining. Okay. This clock is turn of the century. Just lovely. Though the time isn't set properly. I think I'll probably go straight the way he was. There's a note. Uh, read. My dear eccentric, eccentric uh, husband, I left your key in the top drawer of your bureau in the library. The children have been very nervous lately. We need to talk about this as soon as you get back. I don't want them playing with it. Okay, then. And don't let them play with it. 
I mean, it's got a creepy atmosphere. Have a quick look around in this room. Novels written by Husha, I don't consider myself a fan. I've never understood why people have the murder defenseless animals for sport. There's something there as well. Something there down. Keeps looking up. There's something there down. Uh, see many bottles, mines are down at very unpleasant times. Huh. Oh, hang on. The suit all over perhaps I get something like Oh, where have I point the light? Alright. So I pointed down, I can see that. History magazines, I actually subscribe to some of these. A plant. Uh well the plant something has been there happens to mine when I have to get going to the gallery. Alright, okay then. Let's go where Daniel was. Do I have to play this? I'm not going to play it because it made a noise. I don't think it liked me playing it to be quite honest. Ooh, apples. Awesome fruit candlesticks and English tea set. Very old and dusty. Daniel! Mm -mm. I need a kit to hit. So obviously someone's been here at the locket. I would fit under the table quite easily where I need to where I need what? Where I in need of hiding? Is that what? I would fit under the table quite easily. Where were I in? Oh, where I? Why am I saying where? <laughs> reading. Oh, why would you say that? <laughs> Guess I've got to hide under the table at some point then. Ooh, is a TZ. Ooh, hello. You look like matches. Just an ordinary box, not a bit closer. There are plenty of matches left. Perfect. What's this? Well, it's a door, but where is this? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, but let me get this first. Hello? Uh, drawn by Husha's youngest child. Soul 7. Okay, looks interesting. Hmm. Water come out from under the sink. And there's a wire right there. Okay then. I can't burn it, obviously. Kettle, right, swing on here. Uh a metal ring. An iron made of iron, nothing unusual. Cock ring? Oh no, hang on. It's broken there. It swings broken off it. Hmm, oh, okay then. Uh -uh. The door is locked shut. Is that a key? Is that a bit missing? Uh -uh. Obviously, it must attach to something because it's broken. Or is it like a pulley thing? You know, it's like on toys, you pull the thing and say, ha 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 dog food. Oil can, a rusty can of motor oil. Huh. The tin is greasy and a touch and completely full of oil. Weed. <laughs> that and lighters just kept a ba boom Oh. Oh. Hello? What was that noise? You better take a look before you get... Go back out. Before you got back out. God, the tea's not going to be there. Uh, press your ear against the door. Okay, then. What was that? I don't know. I've got to press my ear against the door, apparently. I don't hear anything. It seems like the course is clear. From now on, you can listen to what's happening on the other side of the unexamined doors. Sometimes you may have to have a chance to do it over doors as well. Pay attention to the aeons when you're near one. Use your soul, Kaden. And I have a map! I didn't hear anything in there. Uh-huh. OK. 
Okay then. So I've got to listen, look out for the icon, and I can't just walk through doors now. Okay, can I do it on this one? Nope. Yeah, I did see another door down here. Actually, yeah, I did. Yeah, there was another door down here. I got an itchy arm and an itchy head. There was two doors, one had a keypad on it, but I'm guessing I won't be able to do anything to this one. Oh, hello. Okay, it's a it's a toilet. And a shower right at the front door. And there's greasy fingerprints all over the glass. Then. I thought that keypad was for this. <laughs> the burglar alarm. Hold on. Oh, right, the burglar alarm. I hear nothing. Suitcases. I'm not actually sure what I'm meant to be listening out for. <laughs> I'm sure I would notice what it is. But at this moment, I don't know. Uh, tad broken down. I love motorcycles, but I never must have the courage to drive one, especially with Daniel telling me how dangerous they are. Actually, quite a few things in here. Read. Uh, shut down boiler, press the left button. Start. Press the central button. Empty and press the right button. In case of malfunction, preventing correct boiler functioning, you can perform an emergency shutdown by keeping the blue button pressed for five uh, seconds. Okay. So, by looks, I need to turn electricity on. Huh. I don't see anything. Aha! Uses. And I can see it needs a flathead screwdriver. Which I know exactly where it is because I saw it with Daniel. Ooh! What the hell was that? My controller's vibrated like a heartbeat. I didn't listen, I didn't listen. <sighs> nope. Locked from the other side, okay. This looks like a door that shouldn't be there. Need a key to open it, okay then. Well, there's one more door I haven't been in before I go upstairs, and that is a door I saw in here. I'm sure there's a door on the opposite side of the kitchen bit. Yeah. Okay, I can't hear anything. Perfect, perfect. Hello, hello, hello. Historical novels. Love what? Love cam. Look, oh, love, I said love camera. Lovely camera. It's a repu replica. Uh -huh. I must admit, I could spend weeks in this library. Okay, I keep hearing things. Uh, yeah, no novels. I can see the desk. Is this where the key was? I can hardly resist the temptation to take one of them. Uh, Japanese swords, both look authentic. I could even imagine them 
as museum ah. pieces. Haha. -ha. I see the key in the drawer, but it's jammed. I've got to lubricate it somehow. Maybe yeah. with oil. Yes. Sir. Thank you for answering. <laughs> All right. So maybe this will go to Daniel's room. I mean, there's about fucking six doors. I need keys. <laughs> it opens more than one door. We'll just have to find out which doors. Oh! The phone. Should I answer? No, yeah, why not? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Sorry, who is this? I can't understand you. We can't leave my room. What the? It sounded like a child. Is he in the house? This looks like I'm jumping a bit. Hopefully not. That, that sounds like a trap. <laughs> Use the key. It is. Okay then, well there's the screwdriver. Thank you very much, closer look. I wish I could open this uh, soundstone, what? With this in my hand, I could pass for Sharon Stone in Basic Agent if I were blonde. I've never seen Basic Agent, so... I have no idea what that means. It was a newt. Daniel, are you there? Uh, I saw another door yesterday. I was walking by the dining room and suddenly heard music from Daddy's music box. When I went in, I saw the door. I went running to tell Mummy, but when she came back, it was gone. She scolded me for making things up. It's not fair. I was telling the truth. There was no door here. Uh, different from the rest, it even had a key in the hole. If I say it again, I'll go inside and leave the door open, and that way Mummy will believe me. So... I saw a weird door, Julia said. The one that wasn't there before. Okay. Mummy was very angry and kept yelling at Julia. The door is scary. I will hide the key in the dollhouse and I will hide five dolls too. I'm going to have to find the dollhouse and five dolls. Even if they get mad at me, I will bring them out when Mummy and Julia forget about the door. One will be hungry, but her friend will make dinner for her. Another will be read while her mum takes a shower. The ugly one will watch the door so nobody comes in. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Oh, is this where I'm going to either find them or place them in the dollhouse? So I'll either find them in the kitchen, the dining room, uh, the sh where there's a shower, and the only one to watch the door so nobody comes in. I'm going to guess... Okay. That's either where I find them, or where I place them in the dollhouse. So, like, two in the shower, one facing the door so no one goes in. One in the dining room, you want cooking the food. Sounds good. Hello. Daniel, is that you? Well, he's kind of through that wall right there, so I doubt it. It's smoke. The house is on fire. Oh. I'm pressing it. <laughs> it's sort of instinct. Uh, something you're trying to get in, make sure the door does not open. To gather your strength, repeat you press A. Once you feel strong enough, push and block the door. Waiting for maximum strength is effective, but risky. 
You decide to push the door. All right, so upgrade. God. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I was panicking more as it went along. Looking, you made it in time. You're safer now, but I don't let the guard down. Whatever that was, it could be still looking on the other side. Certain defense will give you a chance to put your ear against the door in rooms you have already visited. Okay, then. Oh, God. What the hell just happened? What was pushing that door? I don't know. Definitely something on the other side of it, though. Okay, then. Okay, then. Well, I'm going to leave this one here. <laughs> Things are just starting to get a bit tasty. So, obviously, if you want to see more, you're going to have to come back. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this. It's bringing back old style. The controls are a bit weird. The the way things are happening is a bit weird. But I, I like the way it looks. I like the way it plays. Anyways, if you like this video, give that like button a bit of a tickle. Smash that share button through the screen. Subscribe and say bye-bye. Me. And as always, stay freaking awesome.